Hi everyone, Marie here. I am going to be making a card using this stamp set from Brutus Monroe. This is their Conservatory of Quotes, I think it is. It has this gorgeous uh, flower stamp here and then it's got lots of little quotes and little sentiments. I'm going to be mostly using this flower and I want to stamp it out for you just to show you how it looks. So I'm using some Brutus Monroe Detail Ink. This is their Raven Black. I'm just going to ink this up. I have it on my Misty so I can stamp it a few times to really get a good impression. It's a very detailed stamp, so um, oops, gotta move this. So it's kind of nice to have the option to stamp it several times. So using a Misty is really great for this one. I actually just got my Misty. I haven't had one before this. Uh, I went to Creativation and I was able to obtain one there and I'm really excited to have it in my craft room. It's just a really great uh, tool to have if you're a stamper or a card maker. Alright, so here is what the stamp looks like, all stamped out. You can see that it's got so much detail and it's just a gorgeous stamp. Now I will be using this, I'm not going to use this image today. I'm actually going to be doing something different with my um, card. I want to show you one that I've already created. I stamped this out, I colored it with some Prismacolor colored marker, or colored pencils, excuse me. I uh, splattered the background a little bit with some distress inks and then layered some papers behind it. So this is what it looks like if you color it and stick it on a card. Today I'm going to try to stamp this out on some vellum and then make more of a bolder background. So that's what I'll be trying to do today. I want to make sure I have a good amount of ink on this image. I don't know how well my vellum is going to cooperate with me and stay in place. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to ink it up really well so I only have to stamp it once. And since I am using Versamark, which is sticky, it might pull up this vellum a little bit. So I don't know if I'll be able to be, get it back into place to stamp it twice. So it moved on me, so I don't want to take that risk to stamp it again. So I'm just going to go ahead with this, sprinkle on my white embossing powder. And I'm using a coffee filter. I just think a coffee filter is sort of a nice easy way to catch that powder um, and put it back into your bottle when you're done with it and then you can always just toss it once you're done with it so here is my flower all embossed on vellum and cut out and I have my card base here now I want to do some ink blending on the background I think I want to keep my um, flowers right here I'm going to be adhering them down here so I want to do some colors behind it and I have this little swatch uh, chart of all the Brutus Monroe inks that I have. So I can kind of look through here and see which colors I like, which ones go together, and which ones I want to put on the card. So just looking at this, I think I like the zest and the sea. I think those two would go together really well. So I'm going to put this aside and then get started blending on my background. I'm also taking a piece of scrap paper and I kind of want to dab off a little bit of that pigment there. So I want a really light blend, so that's what I'm going for. I'm going to put this up here at the top. And I always want to start sort of off the page on the edge and then come into the middle. That way you don't get those harsh lines to begin with.
So I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to leave it at that. I think to try to give it a little something extra special, I'm going to squish a little bit of this uh, alabaster pigment ink out onto my block and mix it with some water. And it almost creates sort of a paint. A white paint kind of thing. And I want to pick up some with my paintbrush and just flick it on. Now you're not going to see this very boldly. Um, it's just going to be really subtle in the background. But just to add some texture, a little bit of detail, just going to add some of that. Alright, so you really can barely see the alabaster on the background, but if I tip it in the light, you can see it does give it a little bit of texture. So I think that's pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead with this card and just glue this down right here. I'm going to do that using my Zig, um, Zig adhesive here, just so I can put little bits behind where I embossed and you're not going to see that adhesive. So here is my sentiment that I'm going to be using with this card. I want to figure out where I want to put it. Might be good right about there. So I am just going to trim this edge just a bit. I think it looks good right there. I'm going to put a little bit of foam adhesive on the back. And that is the card for today. Very clean and simple, but I think this stamped image, especially on the vellum and embossed in white with some color behind it, really stands out. And then just having a simple sentiment on a little bit of black cardstock just helps those colors pop. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It gave you some ideas of what to do with this um, stamp set. Um, stamp it on vellum, stamp it and color it, uh, watercolor it. There's a lot of things you can do. So I hope that you like this stamp set as much as I do. I can see myself making a ton more cards with it. Um, go over to the Brutus Monroe store and check it out if you're interested. Um, I will um, try to answer any comments or questions that you may have. Otherwise, have a great day. Bye.